Hello YouTube and welcome to another VRCircle.com how-to video. And today I'm going to be telling you how to essentially command your computer with your voice. Now originally I was looking for a program that let me control my computer while I had my Oculus Rift headset on. And if you've ever tried to do anything with your mouse or keyboard when you're actually using the Rift, it's essentially you're, you're like a blind person trying to stumble and find what, whatever keys to press and even if you can even find your keyboard. Um, so of course, doing all that with your voice would make it far easier. So if you're in, say, an Elite Dangerous game or a flight simulator, you simply can say, undercarriage up, engage hyperspace. That's much easier than trying to find the J key or whatever key that is on a keyboard. If you haven't got a really nice joystick with all those things all mapped on there, the voice commands make it much, much easier. And sometimes, of course, you are also in the virtual desktop. And if you're not sure what that is, take a look at my website. I do a great tutorial on how to set that up. But the virtual website essentially allows you to see your entire Windows desktop within the Oculus Rift. And again, you can use all these voice commands that I'm about to tell you in there also. Um, so essentially, you can use this for games, for automating your virtual reality commands, or just simply in your day-to-day -day productivity of using Windows. Um, so I'm going to go through and tell you how to set that up for opening a browser windows, opening up certain web pages, closing the windows, all the things you commonly do in your day-to-day -day task using your computer. So before you go into voice attack, you first of all want to, want to make sure you've got your microphone set up, of course, and configure correctly for speech recognition in windows. So the way you do that is you go into your control panel. Uh, let's see control panel and you want to go into your ease of access go into speech recognition and you want to go through and set up your microphone and that takes you a few a, f a few sentences to set it up make sure the volume is set correctly once you have that set you want to go through and train your computer to better understand you it takes about five minutes and takes you through a whole bunch of various sentences and it really really helps the computer understand exactly what you're saying and from my experience so far it pretty much understood everything I said pretty much 100% of the time. I was actually pretty amazed. So spend the time on that. That is definitely worth your time. Once you have that set up, you want to download a program called the Voice Attack. So just go into Voice Attack. <clears throat> and they offer you a uh, free 21-day trial of Voice Attack. Um, and you can purchase it for only eight dollars, eight dollars, sorry, and it's it's pretty cheap. So I'd say it's definitely worth worth your eight dollars. The free version limits you to the number of um, commands you can use, and I think it only gives you one profile. And if you want to use it for Windows and various games, you want to you want to be able to set up various profiles. So once you have that set up and running, you then go through and set up your new profile. So I've got a bunch of test profiles I've been playing with. Um, if you've got the free version, it's going to be default. You can rename that, rename that to Windows if you like. Um, so you want to go through and create a new profile. Let's see, create new profile. I'll just call that YouTube. And then I'm going to go and create a new command. So whatever you type in this box, when this check mark is checked for when I say, Essentially, whatever you say is going to be your command. So I'm going to call that open browser. And the opening browser option is under the other button, run application. Here you type in your location for your uh, browser. So I'm just going to go in and look for properties here. And that will show you the location of your browser. Just copy and paste that into here. Remove your quotes. Click on OK, OK, and done. And then we'll try it out. Open browser. And voila, it opens the browser. Now, of course, well, maybe we want to close it. So let's create a close command. So I'm going to go back into my profile, click on new command, and I'm going to type in close window. In this particular case, I'm just going to use the Windows default, which is the Alt F4 command. So we're going to use the key press. Just simply going to press Alt, 
going to hold that down, then press F4. Click on OK. OK. And done. Open browser. Close window. Awesome. Works first time. Um, now, of course, you've always got a favorite website, and I hope you'll be going to vrcircle.com. But of course, you can make that whatever you'd like. So I'm going to create a new one that opens up to uh, my particular website. So edit profile, new command. So I'm going to say open VR circle, other run application, paste in my Chrome location. And this time you just want to pass in a parameter here. And that is just simply whatever domain you want to go to. VR circle, click on OK, OK, and done. Open VR circle. And there we go. Brings you right to the website. Close window. Open browser. And really, it just works every time. It is amazingly good. Um, now, of course, my other video, I'm going to go over how to set this up for Elite Dangerous. And there is a multitude of commands for that. And you can essentially even have it talk back to you as well. Actually, let me cover that real fast here, too. Um, if you want a, um, a verbal confirmation of what you just asked it to do, that's actually very easy to do also. So if I go back into my, say, open browser, and I edit that command, I'm going to add another command in here, um, other, and I'm going to look for, um, say something with text-to-speech. So I'm going to say, um, opening browser. And you can choose a, like, what is that, what is that? four different voices. David, Hazel, and Zira, whoever that is. So let's choose Hazel. Eh, she sounds not too bad. You can de we can actually download some third-party voices that sound way bad in her, but she'll do for now. Click on OK. I'm just going to make that appear here before it opens the browser. So click on OK. Done. Open browser. Voila. Awesome. Close window. Okay, that concludes the tutorial for today. If you have any questions, ask away in the comments below. And if you like this video, like it, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and of course, go to vrcircle.com for more tutorials. Thank you, YouTube. Have a great day.